What is up guys? Welcome to our next game of Apple One tutorial. In this tutorial it's gonna be pretty fast it's gonna be a really simple thing that I'm gonna show you. It's just gonna be how to um how to do your character H speed and V speed movement uh really more efficiently than I've been showing you in the past. So normally we have uh, about four to eight uh keyboard check direct events to move your character H speed and V speed. That's for a, a top down shooter by the way. For a platform and there's usually about uh, two to four, but here we're going to sell all that in two simple lines of code. So to start with, just create a player, uh, a sprite called Sprite Player. Uh, the sprite is going to be a black box on the center of the sprite. I always like to do that; it helps me a lot. Create an object, call it Object Player, with the sprite that we just created, Sprite Player. Now, normally we'd go in the create event, we'd get a friction variable and then we're going to the step event and type countless lines of code to get a simple movement but here's a really efficient way of getting a movement for h speed and v speed for a top down shooter so just type in h speed equals keyboard check direct odd d minus keyboard check direct odd a and that is all our v speed done that is all of our v all of our h speed sorry done the d key and the a key so a simple line of code can create that h speed movement as you can see it's moving pretty slowly but we can rectify that by putting these two keyboard checks in brackets and typing three times and then that so that's going to triple our h speed so if we go again that's much faster and that's much better obviously we can do this for the uh, v speed as well so type in v speed equals remember that three times again as we've done above and then two brackets and two more keyboard check direct events so check direct odd s minus keyboard check direct odd w and that is all done as well um, wh where's the arrow coming from here? Oh, I spell it wrong sorry there we go if we do that now w and s work so that is done our v speed and h speed is done in two lines of code Obviously, there's still our keyboard check pressed events. Uh, you might be wondering why I know the the D become uh, comes before the A because if that was A and D, then it would go the opposite directions. If you would hold D, it would go the opposite way. If these two keyboard check direct events were switched around, but you just need to remember it. Basically, it's just uh, D becomes for A and S becomes for W, and that's it. Obviously, we can just do this if we just comment out the. Uh, the V speed. This could just be for a platformer, so we could be jumping right now, could be, you know, collecting little collectible things. But yeah, it's really easy. Instead of all them lines of code, you can create some nice, simple, efficient two line code to create all your movement, and that'll be done. So, uh, this was a really simple tutorial, and it was really fast, so you shouldn't have too much difficulty in uh, understanding what it does and how, how to do it yourself so this has been Ashley Phoenix thank you very much for watching remember to like and comment and if you want to subscribe for some more videos so thank you and goodbye